Today, me and the boys are taking the bus on its longest trip yet. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kenny, along with my wife Chrissy and our children. We're converting this school bus into an RV. So where are we taking the bus? I'm going on an adventure! Well, me and the boys are taking the bus up to a friend's place. He has a lot of experience uh, with some, you know, metalworking and fabricating uh, different components. And he actually said that he could help me fabricate some things that I wanted done. And he said, why don't you bring the bus up for a couple days? We can probably knock it out. If you come up here for a few days, we can get a lot done. And I said, I'm coming. <laughs> so that's where we're going. But we have a couple stops to make along the way. It's about a five or six hour trip. So we gotta get going. myself out all right we're here at our first stop we're at a kind of local solar place we're gonna pick up some solar panels it's uh, Missouri wind and solar in Seymour Missouri and I don't know if I can film inside but so we picked up six 410 watt solar panels <clears throat> we can go over more details about that later but uh, we gotta get driving okay we're at our next stop it's a long trip, so we're gonna get some lunch at Costco. Gonna get some pizza or hot dogs, don't know yet. So we ended up getting hot dogs and a pizza and some ice cream. Now, oh, and a snack. And now we're gonna eat. Hey everybody, so we made it to my friend's house last night. It was pretty late when we got here. It was We got the bus parked just right after the sunset, so it was kind of dark. We couldn't really film anything. It was too dark to film, but we're uh, this afternoon after work. We are working on getting some metal cut, and I'll show you some of that now. This one at 160. I'm gonna cut that one at 160. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like perfect. Yeah. I well, was the one that figured it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the bus build. Now that we've got our solar rack built, the next thing we're gonna do is work on setting up some electricity. Got a bunch of the components here, wires, distribution panel, fuses, breakers. We're gonna get that all set up. Got these little LED puck lights to go on the ceiling. And uh, they only use, made in China. They only use about three watts of power, which is really good, but they're super bright. 
So there's an eight pack of them, we're gonna mount them in the ceiling. Which wire is this? <laughs> the shortest one will be uh, right. the last one. Well, I mean, your hands are going to be the same down there. Yeah. This is the shortest one, I think. Okay, perfect. It's got to be that, right? Means this one's just a normal outlet. Okay, we'll say. You say work. Perfect. Work. You got play. your zip tie, Kenny? Yep. Uh, and then what do they have? accomplished when I was up there kind of view an overview right now one thing we did was we got a our 50 amp shore plug installed the 50 amp shore power plug will allow us to plug in and run everything off of shore power and along with the inverter charger it will charge up our battery some if we need to as well we got Romex Rand everywhere it needs to go outlets installed we did not get the uh, distribution panel wired up. That'll come later. And on top of the bus, we built a custom solar rack. And we attached six 410 watt Trina solar panels. So that's over 2,400 watts of solar panels. And we'll also be installing 600 amp hour batteries so we can uh, boondock some have some power running for that if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed consider subscribing so you can follow us along on our adventure as we continue to convert the school bus into an rv until next time life is a winding road